Wilson's just opened. Perfect. That's what we want. Hello and welcome. Good morning. First time going overseas for a good month and a half, two months. Something like that. Because festival season is well underway in the UK. And it is absolutely mental right now. I wasn't actually supposed to be doing this. It was originally going to be something else. But uh, unfortunately injured himself and wasn't able to do it. So I've had to take over, but I don't mind because I'm going down to Barcelona again. There are a few differences this time over last time though. I'm shipping out uh, via Portsmouth Cairn instead of Dover Calais. It's also a three truck drop instead of one, but the other two guys left yesterday leaving today so I'm playing catch up. The big difference that I would like to happen is to not get robbed, that would be nice. And to not have my curtains slashed, although I will be very impressed if that manages to happen since I have a box trailer on today and not a curtain cider. Anyway, on to today. First port of call is a place just outside of Maidstone. Uh, the same place that featured at the very start of my Greek video actually. And load up there and then uh, head round to Felwyn for another place. Uh, and as I was looking that up on Google Earth and Google Street View, uh, turn the camera around and you'll see a very suspicious looking red trailer in the yard. And once I've picked up those two places, down to Portsmouth, fingers crossed, in my time, so I can do a ferry movement, get me 11 hours off and uh, crack on down through France, pretty much. Anyway, that'll do for an intro, enough waffling, time to get going. Unsuitable for long vehicles at Goudhurst, two and a half miles ahead. Yes, I noticed that last time. Thank you very much, I am well aware of that. Oh, this is a lovely bit of parking. And has messed everything up beautifully. Bus has only just managed to get through. Freedom! We've got to come back that way later then. Harper's Farm, this is the one. Swinging as wide as possible. Let's see if we can get inside. about gonna go I think just turn left in here and then we back it down and on our good side because there's no other way of getting onto the bay otherwise unless you want to try blindsiding it from that tiny little lane but I don't know if that's even possible
Might need to get that van moved. I'm not sure if it's going to clear. Hello, you all right? All good? We'll move that van. Yeah, if you could, please. Sweet ground. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you know where this moves? Uh, if that area in there's fairly open, that should be all right there. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okie okay, doke, no. all good, thanks. Try and catch my trailer before it gets too far away from me. Heading towards the loading bay. Straighten it up. So if we're inside the gate, we are cool and missing the bins. Cool. Might have to put some shorts on, it's getting warm. Here we go. Work t shirt on, shorts on, we're good to rock and roll. Grab those and see if I need any help. Job done, nice and quick. Do you know how long that was? A lot less than an hour, I know that much. I think I've got it just been a little bit before 10, it's now 25 past. Lovely. Fan kicking up all the dust from the engine. All sorted, paperwork's all sorted. Ba -ba. Next place round at Felton. We're looking good time-wise. I've just got to run the gauntlet of getting back out of here and through the village. Uh, oh, steady, steady truck, you're loaded now. One of the guys recognised in me. You, know, you did that Greek job last year. Yeah, I thought I knew you. It's been a year and he still recognises me. Even though I wasn't there for most of it. I only just turned up as they had almost finished loading. And the van's been moved and the two trucks have gone. That makes life a bit easier. Don't mind me, just driving through the housing estate. It is the main road on the way to get there. It's getting squeaky. You know, traffic on the M25 between the A3 and the M3 held me up quite a bit. I've got 15 minutes of drive time left. squeeze through cars on a corner. The road does go round in a loop, so I might turn left out of here later. Visitors and deliveries slash collections. So yeah, road goes round a loop, so I'll turn out that way later. And can somebody open the gate for me please? I'm early. Uh, got another hour and a bit to wait. Um, I'm not sure if they've finished prepping it or not, but they're not loading it just yet. So I'm gonna stick it on break. Reset my drive time and everything and uh, have lunch. And once they're ready, hopefully they'll give me a shout. Okie dokie, eventually we got going. Full. Well, near enough it's full. There's a little bit of room at the back. But the door lock is on. Paperwork there, CMR's all filled in, signed. Carnate is ready to go. Fuel cards, passports out. I think we're all sorted. 
it's just after quarter to four, so I've got three and a quarter hours to get to uh, Portsmouth. Specifically, fill up with fuel, so I don't want to stop for fuel tomorrow, since tomorrow is my only real day of being able to drive. Uh, get down to Portsmouth, check in, do passport, carne, get in lane, get booked off before seven. That is the idea. And just check my fifth wheel, because that trailer was rattling around in the jaws then for a moment. Make sure it's secure before pulling onto the road. But no one's touched it because I was sat in the truck and the brake, and then I was loading. But it's always uh, wise to check. Yeah, she's all good, no change. Just being a moaning mole. Kicking up her fuss because you've got all that weight on the back. Well, it's not that much, it's only eight tons. Compared to what it could be. It's nothing. Along the M27. I do like this bit. Good views. And down the M275 into Portsmouth. Make sure I get the correct dock, otherwise it could be an embarrassing phone call. Alright boss, good news and bad news. Good news, I'm closer to France than I was. Bad news, I'm on the Isle of Wight. Ferries and crews, ferries and crews, cars and buses, freight on the very right lane. Give that one a go then, see what happens. Yeah, I see someone at check in. Ten to fourteen. Ten to fourteen. Yeah. Yep. Take that bit of paper, your passport. Yeah. Any other paperwork you've got? I've oh, got carne. Yeah. yeah. Back to the terminal. Into there. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the terminal. We'll see the customs place. Yeah. Brittany is next door. Brittany is next door. Okay. Okay. All good. Thanks. Right. Lanes ten to fourteen. Park behind XPO. Then lane thirteen. Apparently, according to their scales, I tip uh, weigh in at 29,100 kilos. Um, it's after I've filled up with fuel. So, it's 1805. It's got a little bit of a while to faff about and get everything sorted. I'll walk back to the terminal and check in. Right. I'm going to sort out Carne and whatever else I need to do, and I will see you the other side. Um, so yeah, you've probably never seen them ones before, that's the blue ones. They are transit ones, so that's if you're going from the UK to uh, Switzerland or Russia or Ukraine or anywhere else that isn't the EU, basically. Um, so you leave the UK market, you enter the EU market, but you're not delivering to the EU. So then you fill in the transit one. So yellow, export, leaving the UK. Blue, transit, although I have seen white used as well sometimes. Uh, and then import into, say, from this example, Switzerland, you then use the white one. And then you do the reverse, coming back. That's a pretty simple process. Um, just walk out the back here, follow the zebra crossing into the corner, turn left, you'll get to like the first door, uh, the customs one, walk in, there you go, do, do, do. they do it in front of you, two minutes, off you go, cool, down to the check-in area, and your passport and the pre-check-in thing in, and then tippy tap tap tap, you get your room key, you get your check-in bit of paper, and uh, Jobs are good. Nice, easy, quick, painless. Certainly compared to what Dover Calais has been recently. One of our guys, he joined the queue for the trucks, whatever morning it was, something like nine in the morning, 
finally got on the ferry six o'clock in the evening the next day so that uh, that was a very long wait for him well before seven o'clock so clock off um, get a ferry bag ready for this evening and then uh, settle down and wait to get cooled well we seem to be getting ready there's movement Over four hours of break now. Yeah? Okay. Building up air pressure. Does it all disappears from somewhere? So I messaged the other guys earlier where they are, and uh, they've taken a slightly different route than I'm going to go. And they've gone down to Tours, and I'm going to go to turn left and cut across to Verzon and pick up from where I went down last time and over the Milau Viaduct whereas they've gone straight on down towards Miloge, Limoges I don't have that luxury though being Friday tomorrow so I've got to crack as many miles as possible I've got to get further south than that so it's about six and a bit hours and I will only have five hours between stops oh, between them um, truck bands hello uh, Khan yeah, yeah right, right, right. swap through the gap yeah. yeah on the left yeah. on the left yeah, yeah. okay yeah oh, that's annoying I'm getting on the boat roll we're just being held here though Why is it so difficult? Uh, we're getting there slowly. Just over 15 minutes gone. Hey, all good? Do you need to scan that, yeah? Thank you. Okie doke, good to go, yeah? Okay, thanks. Is me done. Let's see if I can get out my door now. And uh, I will see you in the morning. I'm going to do nothing but uh, go straight to bed. I think. My cabin's in there somewhere, and I'm in these stairs. <coughs> Two berth. Well, technically four, but they're folded away, so there's only going to be two drivers max. There's my view out the window, and uh, I'm going to go to bed. We arrive at 6:45 in the morning. I'm going to assume that's local, so I've already set any watches and whatnot to French time, uh, and I'm going to set the alarm for about quarter past six. Get up, get sorted, and then. Fingers crossed, we'll be ready to just shoot straight down to the Cardex. Good morning. I had the room to myself in the end, which was good. Nearing quarter past six, we're just a few miles off the coast. I had a text from Brittany Ferries that says I'm orange status, unsurprisingly. Uh, being a carnet. Uh, pull off the ferry. Apparently there's either a booth, similar to Dieppe by the sounds of it, or uh, just pull up somewhere near the exit and walk over to the terminal and they'll get it all done there. Easy. Let's head downstairs and uh, get going, shall we? 
took a little bit longer than expected yeah I noticed as we were getting closer and closer we weren't uh, no, we're not really that close to the dock yet and uh, it's, we're supposed to be arriving now and then they got on the old tannoy uh, ladies and gentlemen the captain has informed us that unfortunately a French fishing vessel has sunk in the harbour at Oistrum and we are not allowed to dock we might have to go to another port Few minutes later they got back on the tannoy we can sit here for 45 minutes and then we'll be allowed to go in cool so 6 45 was the original arrival time it's currently 7 20. we have been allowed at least to go back down to the, uh, the car decks as you can see because i'm in the truck and uh I'll wait to disembark Let's see what they say. Bonjour, do well? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, we. You go there and uh, I come. Uh, Orange, yeah. With Messi. Orange area it is. That's the first. They want to look in the back, do they? Check every vehicle first. And then once the queue's gone, sort me out. There's the end of the queue right there, so there shouldn't be too long. Okay. Sit here and wait, I guess, because he's got my passport. There's not much else I can do. He's standing up. I see he's got the carne in his hand. Is he going to walk out the door? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, oh, he's moving again. He's moving. Door's opening. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's back in again. <laughs> oh, he's out again. Uh, that's my car, now. Where else do you go? Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona, okay. Let's see. Okay, you go out immediately or you stay uh, uh, Immediately. Okay. Oh. No? Okay. I heard a stamp, so there should be one in here. It is my passport. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to assume that's it. Yeah, Khan Wistrom. That's a stamp. Let me check. He's ripped out the what's it. Cool. Right, that's all sorted. I don't need to get out my truck, so no need for high-vis. 
And uh, we're good to go. I'm not going to assume that we start following signs for Khan and then pick up signs for Le Mans. Where we go in relation to the racetrack, I don't know. But we'll be somewhere near the Le Mans 24 hour circuit. Passport done, customs done, everything cleared. Heading towards the exit. The hunt is on. Let's see if I can catch up with these guys. Uh, more importantly, let's see if I can get close to the Spanish border. Uh, follow the trucks, I assume. Khan, A30, A30, A84. I want a route national at some point. 184, I think it is. Ah, here's the lights. They've changed from normal traffic lights to just permanently flashing amber. Which means, take it steady, but you can go if it's clear. And I believe they've changed those, <coughs> or all of these, from uh, normal traffic lights to flashing ambers because people used to stop at the lights and then all the uh, immigrants would jump under and in the back of your truck right as you were right uh, near the port. So people were either running the red lights or uh, just driving very slowly so that they were always moving to make everyone's life easier. I just changed them to flashing yellows. On to the main road and away we go. Cool. What's that? Just a smidge under three miles and we're already on fast roads. I need to at the very least get past Clermont Ferrand. Ideally, if I can get somewhere down near the Milau Viaduct or just past it, that would be ideal. That'll set me up very nicely for tomorrow. I'm just running around the outskirts of Calm. Miles I've driven, so when they do Portsmouth Khan, you're not actually going to Port uh, Khan, you're going to Wistrum, which is 10 miles north from here, and there is Khan in front of you. Some of the outskirts, most of it's off to me, right? So I'm just nearing the outskirts of Le Mans, just over two hours of driving done already. Signs for Tours is already appearing, so follow the signs for Tours. And once I get down there, turn left and then hook up with the other bit motorway that I've already been down uh, on my last trip to Barcelona. Air de la It's just a little rest area, it's not a proper services, but they're more likely to be shoot straight in, park up and then shoot straight out. I want to spend as little time as possible services and driving slowly. I want to be at 90k as much as possible. Only one other truck. <laughs> Park it here and uh, go on break. And have some lunch. At last. That'll do. Break. There we go. Cool. Right. Done. Food. I need food. Oh, this isn't good. Maybe going the other way would have been better now. But uh, yeah, it was clear. It's been an accident. They keep mentioning Claire Montferrand and something about payage. But, uh, yes, it turns out there might have been an accident of some sort. never traffic in France, and of all the days for there to be some, it's when I'm here. So delays on the boat, now I've got delays on the road. Yeah, I might not make it to Spain now, tomorrow, I might have to sit out the uh, driving ban for Saturday at least, and head down to Spain in the evening. So if that's going to be the case, I might as well just push on as far as I can and do full 10 hours of driving today. 
give myself the best chance of getting down to Spain in that five hour window. It really depends how long this traffic jam is. Ooh, that's a hot truck. Wheels are hot, tyres are hot, engines hot. You can hear it all crick crackling away as it's cooling down. It's done a lot of mileage today, that. But here's a little rest area. You get bins, you get benches, get a few parking spots and some basic toilet facilities. Yeah, there they are, over there. The quality varies. They're usually always less better than an actual proper services. A little bit of a view over yonder. And very grey skies. I'm not sure if I heard any uh, thunder earlier, a minute ago. So it might be raining down that way. Which is always good, it takes the edge off the temperature. That's basically what most rest areas look like in France. A little parking for cars, a little parking for trucks, toilets and some bins and that's about it. That's a lot better than the laybys you get in the UK, that's for sure. As predicted, it is raining. We're also climbing quite high now. 2,600 feet. Temperature outside is now a much more respectable, 21 degrees, as opposed to the 30, 32 it's been most of today. There's quite a bit of rain now, even a fair bit of standing water on the road. Will at least help cool everything down so heat soaks not, uh, not going to be so bad tonight. The temperature has absolutely plummeted, it's down to 16 and a half degrees now. Distant sense of dirty, more likely, more rain than it can handle. Blue sky is the other side, so it's only a short shower. What a lovely view! Uh, service is, is just coming up. Perfect. Here we go. It's not exactly on the motorway. But it is a proper services. Truck parking's out the back, I can't see how busy it is. But I don't have enough time to get anywhere else, so I've got to make it work. There was one space there. There might be one down there as well. Where space is. Oh, look at that. Loads. Cool. Do I go left or do I go right? Right has more space. Left is closer to all the buildings. And I'm definitely not driving a little bit at a time because I'm on 10 hours exactly right now and I'm just trying to slowly work my way along without ticking the attack over. No, definitely not doing that. Definitely. <laughs> definitely not doing that. Oh, flick back to other work, please. There we go. Two minutes of other work. I've now got a few seconds to move again. Shh, don't tell no one. Can I get in there? Hmm. Maybe the other way will be better. So I can't really afford to be messing about. All that done on seven minutes of other work. <laughs> Little tricks of the trade to uh, make sure that you stay legal and can still do what you need to do. 
and this is me for 23 hours now because it's effectively 8 o'clock nearly so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning 6, 7 until the band kicks in that ain't gonna get me nowhere stay here until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening and then see if I can make it into Spain before midnight otherwise I'm gonna be stuck here till 10 o'clock the next day as well there you go, another minute can clock off and then uh, have a walk around, see what there is, see if I can get some cash for the old uh, parking, and then make a plan for tomorrow evening.